Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting cubic equation by three methods. First method, I will use the conventional synthetic division method. Second, using factorization. And third method is Cardano's formula or Cardano's method. So let's get started. x cube plus 133 equal to 30x. Take all the terms to one side. So I can write x cube minus 30x plus 133 equal to 0. Now we will take the help of rational root theorem. Find the eligible factors of 133. That would be plus minus 1, plus minus 7, plus minus 19. Eligible factors of leading coefficient plus minus 1. So I need to put only few values to find out first base solution. So I will put x is equal to 1. It won't provide a solution. As you can see, it is non-zero. If I will put 7, it will show again non-zero. Let me put x equal to minus 7. So minus 7 cube minus 343. Minus 7 times minus 30. So plus 210, 133. If you will add both, you will get equal to 0. That means x is equal to minus 7 is our real base solution. Now, I will use synthetic division to find out the quadratic equation and we will solve. So I can write synthetic division. I need to write all the coefficients 0. Then I will write minus 30. Then I will write 133. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is 1. 1 times minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. Minus 7 times minus 7, 49. I will get here 19. 19 times minus 7, minus 133. So 0. So one quadratic equation we will get that is x square minus 7x plus 19 equal to 0. Let's solve this equation quickly to find out our solution. So I will consider the quadratic formula. Let me write here equation x square minus 7x plus 19 equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus b 7 plus minus square root b square. 49 minus 4ac minus 76 divided by 2a so 2 7 plus minus this will be negative 27 over 2 so i can write 7 plus minus 27 as 9 times 3 so i 3 root 3 over 2 so there are three Solutions of this cubic equation that is minus 7, then 7 plus minus i times 3 root 3 divided by 2. This is our method number 1. Let me consider method number 2 using factorization. So I will write first our equation towards one side. So I can write x cube minus 30x plus 133 equal to 0. Now I will add few terms actually. x cube, then I will add 7x square and I will subtract also the same. Then I will write minus 30x as minus 49x plus 19x that is minus 30x. And 133 I will write as it is 133. Now from first two term I can take x is square common. So x plus 7. From these two terms I will write minus 7x common. So x plus 7. And from last two term I will take 19 common. So x plus 7. Now one question will arise. How we get to know about what number we have to add and subtract. So that is from remainder theorem. Now x square minus 7x plus 19 equal to 0. So same way we can write same quadratic equation, same result we will get. 7 then I will write 7 plus minus i times 3 root 3 divided by 2. Same solutions. 
नाउ मेथड नंबर थ्री लेट मी राइट हेयर मेथड नंबर थ्री दैट इज कार्डेनोज मेथड और फॉर्मूला सी दिस फॉर्मूला इज एप्लीकेबल आई एम राइटिंग डायरेक्टली दैट फॉर्मूला सो वेन इट विल बी एप्लीकेबल वेन देर इज नो वाई स्क्वायर टॉप सो अदरवाइज वी हैव टू टेक द लॉन्ग पाथ सी हाउ इट इज आई विल राइट एक्स क्यू प्लस ए एक्स प्लस बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो सोल्यूशन डायरेक्टली विल कंसिडर इट इज अल्फा प्लस बीटा मीन्स आई एम गोइंग टू पुट इन द इक्वेशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा प्लस बीटा सो वी विल गेट सोल्यूशन एज क्यूबिक फॉर्म सो दैट फॉर्मूला डायरेक्टली एप्लीकेबल माइनस बी बाई टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट बी स्क्वायर ओवर फोर प्लस ए क्यूब ओवर ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड बी क्यूब बीटा क्यूब इज माइनस बी ओवर टू वट इज ए एंड बी जिस सिंपली बाई कंपेरिंग द इक्वेशन यू विल गेट एंड माइनस साइन इन बिटवीन रेस्ट इज आइडेंटिकल बी स्क्वायर ओवर फोर प्लस ए क्यूब ओवर सेवन and from here you will find out the cube root of the rhs written so alpha from here we can write minus b by 2 plus square root b square by 4 plus a cube over 27 whole power 1 over 3 cube root of that similarly beta we will only put the sign difference see in that place we will write minus now what would be our solution solution would be y if i am writing or x you are writing let me write x as per our equation x will be equal to first solution would be alpha plus beta second solution would be omega the cube root of unity omega alpha plus omega square beta and third solution will be omega alpha omega square alpha plus omega beta Where omega we know already that is minus one. Let me write here minus one plus i root three over two. This is our omega. So I am going to only compare our original equation. So equation is x cube minus thirty x plus one thirty three equal to zero. So this value is our a and one thirty three is our b. only need to put over there alpha and we will respectively find out beta which will be minus b over 2 minus square root b square over 4 plus a cube over 27 whole power 1 over 3 cube root okay let's find out our solution verify also so i will calculate alpha cube first so that formula is minus b by 2 plus square root b square over 4 plus a cube over 27 let's put the value a is x cube minus 30x plus 133 equal to 0 so a is minus 30 and b is 133 let's put the value so i will get alpha cube minus b over so i will write minus 133 over 2 plus square root of b square so 133 square over 4 plus a cube so i will write because cube is there so minus sign i can write 30 cube over 27 okay now if you will solve this this value will come out minus 8 now consider cube root both sides i will write minus 8 whole power 1 over 3 so this value is minus 2 similarly if you will calculate beta cube then you will write minus same formula only minus sign difference minus a square root b square over 4 plus a cube over 27 simply put the value you will get this value as let me write here beta cube you will get equal to minus 125 so conclusion is 
beta will be minus 5. Let's write our solutions directly. Let me write the value of x. I can write alpha plus beta. Then I will write omega alpha plus omega square beta. And then swap the values. Omega square alpha plus omega beta. Let's put the value. Alpha is minus 2. Beta is minus 5. So this will give us minus 7 is the first solution. Alpha plus beta minus 2 minus 5. Here you will put omega we know minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2. So omega square will be, let me write here, minus, minus, no, here only plus sign, minus i root 3 over 2. Simply we have to put the value here. We will get this value will come out minus 2 omega minus 5 omega square and here I can write minus 2 omega square minus 5 omega. Simply put the value of omega which is minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2. So this value is minus 7 clear. Second value after simplification we will get 7 plus i root 3 over 3 root 3 over times 3, 2 and last value would be with minus sign, 3 root 3 over 2. So, 3 solutions are there, see it is without root, ok. So, minus 7 and second and third solution is complex solution, 7 plus minus i 3 root 3 over 2. So, this method we can use once there is no x square coefficient. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.